Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I'm here with Catherine because we want to show you how to use tasks in Evernote to help manage and prioritize your day. Tasks view helps us to take the guesswork out of where to focus our time because it's all there. Yes, which is huge when you are looking to be more productive. So we're going to dive in a little deeper to tasks view where I will share how to adjust some of the settings and filters so you can customize how you want to view your tasks. And it's just nice to have these options because we all work a little differently. Yes, I'm so excited to see these options. Tasks view offers different options for managing your tasks. If you look to the top right of tasks view, you'll see this filter icon. If I click into the filter icon, I'll see some additional options for filtering down my tasks even further. I can take a look at, for example, the next 14 days, what tasks I have coming up. When I made that selection, you'll see in tasks view that my tasks adjusted based on what I selected. I can also clear that out each time and take a look in different ways. So if I wanna also see tasks located in maybe a specific notebook, I can do that by selecting the notebook and then you'll see all the tasks that are associated with that notebook. I can also filter down by individual or user. So if I wanna take a look at just tasks that Derek has assigned or that are related to Derek, I just select his name there. And again, that filter is on all of the tasks in tasks view, which allows me to focus down on just what I'm trying to see right now, which are tasks that have to do with Derek. Clearing that selection. Now I can take a look at the overflow menu. These three dots here, I can click that to see some more actions and more options. So, for example, right now I've got a bunch of different view options. I can, if I want to, I can just deselect certain options. If I don't want to see certain tasks that live within notes that are shared with me, I can deselect that. Maybe I don't want to see my completed tasks because they're just cluttering up my task view. I can remove that. Or maybe I do want to see them, but I want them at the bottom. So that is a toggle if I want to just have them organized at the bottom I can. And then again, that selection for showing the notebooks or spaces the task lives in, that is a selection I have selected here. I can deselect that if that's not important for me, but if I do wanna see that, I'll go ahead and keep it selected. I also have some settings down here. If I want to take a look at my default task reminders, I don't have any set right now, but I can turn this on and what this does is it allows me to set up a default reminder on all tasks. So if I want to know with every single task that I create, I would like a 30 minute heads up or reminder, I can set that here and click done for that selection. I can go back into my settings and I can also adjust my default task note. Right now, this is my default task note. But if I wanted to, I could select a different note as my default task note and click done. And there you go. That is tasks view in a little more detail to show you some of the other additional features and functionality that will allow you to focus on what you're looking for and get to work as quickly as possible. This is all great, Catherine. I do get satisfied by seeing crossed out tasks, but I also like that I can hide them too. Do you have any other tips? Yes, I would recommend sorting all tasks by no due date, um, just to see if you need to create any due dates. Sometimes when we're in a hurry creating tasks, you forget to set a due date, um, which is totally fine, but you'll need to make sure that you know which tasks need to get assigned a due date so nothing slips through the cracks. So this is a really nice way to just kind of filter down to no due date and get those dates assigned if you need to. That's a great idea. I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs>